Yeah, hey, dosto. Welcome back to our YouTube channel, Ashan Shastri. So here we are to discuss about one of the very important vacancies in Central Government Organization, Uranium Corporation of India Limited, UCIL. Before proceeding, let me first introduce you with UCIL. What is UCIL? Basically, UCIL is a public sector enterprise and it is under the administrative control of DAE, Department of Atomic Energy. And the Department of Atomic Energy is headed by Honorable Prime Minister only. Okay. UCIL, NPCIL, BAR, these are not under the administrative control of any kind of ministries. These are the direct under control of Department of Energy, Atomic Energy and our respective Prime Minister. Okay. Head of the UCIL will report to DA and head of the DA will report to PM of India. So here we are to discuss about one of very critical vacancies. So BSc chemistry job it is all India eligibility is there. No prior experience is required. And there is a vacancy in more than one department as well in UCIL. Let's discuss. Before proceeding to advertisement, let me first introduce you with number of vacancies, department and the vacant post. First one is GOT chemical. GOT chemical stands for graduate operation training chemical. 10 vacant post. Another department, GOT, Graduate Operational Training in CRD, HPU unit. CRD stands for Corporate Research and Development. HPU stands for Health Physics Unit. Five vacant post. GO2 Physics, Graduate Operational Training Physics. Zero to number of vacant posts. Total 17 vacant posts are there for BSc Chemistry students. Let's discuss in detail. So this is the advertisement that I am talking about. Uranium Corporation of India Limited and the headquarter of UCIL is in Jharkhand district. Okay. So advertisement number UCIL 06 by 2025. Okay. So it is a CPSC under the administrative control of DAE. The registration for this process has not started yet. It will start on 25th of August. And the last date for making application is 24th of September. So approximately one month window is there. And the website that you have to encounter or you have to remember is www.uraniumcorp.it. Serial number 7. We are talking about the discipline chemistry or chemical. Graduate operational training in BARC or NPCIL or UCIL. Their method of recruitment is like that. First, they will recruit you as a trainee for the period of two years. After that, you will be posted in their regular pay scale. Okay. So you have to subject it to minimum period of training of two years. So in the first year, you will be given, you are entitled for the 29,100 rupees stipend plus their DA. And once you complete the training of two years, you will be given a pay scale of 29,900 rupees. Okay. Total 10 vacant posts is there and maximum age for general category is 30 years. Good for everyone. And the what is the minimum eligibility criteria? Very simple. BSc Physics, Chemistry, Mathematics. Okay. Three years course with minimum 60% marks of aggregate. So for unreserved and EWS category or OBC category students, minimum 60% marks is there. BSc Physics, Chemistry and Mathematics. Okay. Next one is in the Corporate Research Development, Graduate Operational Training, which monthly stipend of 29,995 vacant post is there. Bifurcation is already given. 30 years maximum age. BSc Chemistry Honors. Okay. And Mathematics as subsidiary subject. Okay. The next one is in the discipline of Physics. Graduate Operational Training Physics. Monthly stipend is given. Two vacant post. Maximum age is 30 years for general. You are wondering, sir, lot of options are there for BSc Chemistry or BSc Physics students. Which In which post we should apply? So I will tell you, you must apply for all three posts. Okay. There is a provision in this advertisement that candidate may apply for multiple posts, but one candidate cannot make multiple applications for a single post. Okay, we remember that. Now let's talk about their pay and allowances. It is clearly mentioned that GOT will be subjected to training of two years. And in that training, in the first year, they will be given the stipend. I already mentioned 29,900 rupees plus DA. So 29,900 rupees plus the DA. So it will be approximately equal to 44,000 or 43,000. Okay. This is the first year stipend. The second year stipend is 30,890 30, rupees plus DA. Currently, DA is approximately 50%. Okay. So this amount will become your approximately 46,000 rupees. So for in the first year, you will be given 44,000 per month stipend. In the second year, you will be given 46,000 per month stipend. Once you complete the training, you will be offered a Assistant foreman at tradesman E grade with sell with pay scale of 29,900 rupees 990 to 46,720 rupees. Okay, so 29,990 to 46,720 will be your pay scale during the training. GOT will be given a subsidized residential accommodation as well. That means you will be provided UCL accommodation in a very subsidized rate, and there will be medical facility also. 
innovation to monthly stipend okay complete the training you will be allowed to entitle every allowances of ucil pa in addition to basic parks and allowances pf gratuity intraneous subsidized accommodation medical facilities says everything Children, medical facility children education facility everything very important point is there is a bond okay candidate must sign a bond of four years okay after the completion of training that means four plus two six year bond is there general terms and condition how you make the application will discuss so max only indian nationals are eligible it is clearly mentioned that multiple or duplicate application for a same post is not eligible is not possible every calculation of age qualification will be done 20, with respect 24 september 2025 now it is mentioned that one candidate is eligible for apply for more than one post by paying the fees okay if the return test or gd or interview falls on the same date then a candidate has to decide in which post they want to proceed further understand how you have to make the application the website is uraniumcorp.in. You have to first visit and then you have to make the application. Application fees is 500 for general category students and for SC, ST, PW and female category. That means females are exempted for any application fees. That means UCIL or other corporations are basically promoting females. What all documents are required? 10th certificate, mark sheet of 10th, 12th, graduations, if you are postgraduate, well and good and any other important certificates. This GATE score or UDC NET score is not for BSc Chemistry, okay? This is for other departments. So this is all about UCIL BSc Chemistry recruitment. If you have any doubt, feel free to connect with me. Till then, stay tuned to Shashat YouTube channel. Thank you.